when you hear people say they oh I swallowed my mouth uh, I lost my mouth or it's often when they inadvertently open their throat they lost their air um, and once you're too deep you can't get it back so that was my worry today was that I was maybe a little too deep to get it back and um, fortunately I had just enough uh, timing and I think that's where the, the stretching comes into play in training you know? for sure so, so next up Tetsuo yeah. Hara from Japan attempting 85 meters in constant weight and we just saw Tetsuo packing his lungs at the surface and so packing in mouthfill sort of in a way go kind of hand in hand yeah if you, if you pack and you have a little extra air then uh, when you're at depth you have a little extra volume you know just to make sure that mouthfill is as full as it can be um, as, as Anna said the, it's an advanced technique we use for diving deeper than say 40 50 meters sometimes further um, you know but again it's it's one of those skills where you still need to have good control over your friends little technique in order for the mouthfill to actually work effectively um, you know it's no use just doing the mouthfill uh, you still need to learn the other technique as well the frenzel um, yeah, absolutely and, and so there's a lot of factors at play in that you know you talked about liking to take your mouth fill a little bit earlier than 30 meters due to most likely the atmospheric pressure of water kind of converging on your chest and not allowing you to bring that air up so essentially robbing air from your lungs to store in your cheeks to take with you at depth and Alex for some reason missed an alarm today or just did no I um my normal plan is I, I take my mouth fill around 25 meters yep. um, and then at 30 I just give it a little top up just to make sure we're we're good to go we're 100 percent and as I went to take my, my top up at, at uh, uh, 30 meters I inadvertently just swallowed the whole thing oh. there we go he's back up again and so I had to refill the mouth but that becomes much deeper or much more difficult as you descend deeper so taking sure. the mouth fill at deeper depths requires a huge amount of uh, diaphragmatic and chest flexibility to be able to bring that air up. To be able to bring it up safely, yeah, it requires, um, you know, consistent stretching all throughout the training period, you know, base training and even up, right up to competition, keeping that, that stretching going is very, very, very important. Um, you know, the worst thing that can happen is, is we, we are too aggressive at depth and we might inadvertently injure ourselves. So it's something that, you know, takes a lot of preparation, a lot of time, it's something that uh, you have to work on slowly. And so we've adapted the rules in the sport of freediving so that when athletes are descending, if they make a mistake similar to what happened with Alex, they can't reascend, take no. the mouth fill, and then start the descent again. And so that's to protect the safety of the athletes, uh, ensuring proper decision making underwater. Yeah, I mean, I think it's one of those things where you know you have to be sensible with yourself. And um, and as soon as I refilled my mouth fill, I said to myself, you know, if equalization runs out, then I'll turn around. It's not worth you know um, pushing hard just to make the bottom plate it's uh, it's one of those things where it's always better to play it safe and dive another day you know and, and come back tomorrow and try again but absolutely no, fortunately for me today it was it was all good Tetsuo is about to surface right now just coming up came up with his back to the platform so he does need to turn around some great coaching by Sayuri <laughs> he started with a peace sign yeah, <laughs> I think yeah, Sayori really, really to helped see him there. What the judges yeah. are gonna do with that protocol? Maybe having some uh, flashbacks from the '70s there, <laughs> giving the peace signal. Yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to see what the judges have to say about that. Um, he did swim, swivel himself around to at least be visible to the judges, which is one thing we have to do. Yeah. Here right. we go, oh white card. God. Very good. And so, talk about that. Do you have a coach in water? Me, no, no. Um, I am yet to have any blackout or samba or anything 